Holy shit! We just watched episode 8 of No Game, No Life. What did you think, Vic? Huh? Uh, it's good. Uh, Alright. They were all like, mystery things. Like, I'm explaining things. I was like, yeah. <laughs> you know what? This show, the, the scenes like that are good, right? Yeah. It's, good, it's, it's fun. It's fun when he's explaining this stuff. But I feel like we need to, like, make a clarification here. Where this show is entertaining when it does those scenes. But those yeah. are, that does not make it well written. Like, it doesn't feel smart to me. Like, when it goes on this long, like, he's explaining all this shit about, Haha, you were, thought you were mind readers, but really, we're this. And to me, that's literally an author sitting down and just going, Alright, where's something, what is something that these guys can do? And then these guys can prove that they don't do that. Yeah. You know, like, it feels so basic, because it, it, that's all it is. It's like one person has one idea, one person has another idea, and then they clash, and then it turns out blank or smarter. The yeah. only reason blank or smarter is because the author's smarter. Exactly. You know, and like, it's written that way. It's not like they right. were, like, had to, like, it's been going on for a while, and there was all this, like, stuff going on. It's like, we exactly. literally just learned about all this shit this episode, so it's like... <laughs> right. Like, there's none of that sense of... Like, no build the up characters to it. figure, like, you and the characters figuring shit out together, yeah. you know, like, like, if you're watching something, I guess there's, like, different ways to, to, to explain it. Like, when you watch Code Geass, it's similar to this, but you have more of the, like, you see where Lelouch comes up with the plan, yeah. and, like, the execution, and, like, how he's got different people who know different things, and you kind of know it going in, and then you watch it get executed, and you're like, oh, shit, you know? Or in, like, Death Note, where the guy is... Like, you know, Light is smarter than you as a reader, and he's explaining stuff to you, but it's not like a, I just pulled it off and now I'm telling you about how smart I am, you know, yeah. like, I don't know. It, it, it's like those shows, but it just doesn't feel as, like, tight and well-written to me as those shows do. It, it, it literally just feels like they explained something to you, and then yeah. they flipped it on its head ten seconds later, yeah, and you're like, so oh, I guess fucking... they were the ones who knew what's going on. Good episode, bad, bad episode, bullshit. I mean, but yeah. anyway, so there's all that, there's that element, but then the ending is kind of interesting, because it's like, Sora disappears, yeah. and it's obviously, it's just part of the next game. You know, but... It would be great if he were, like, dead. If he... It turned out he never existed or something like that. If he like, was, like, a got ghost psychological. inside her mind, it would be, definitely be <laughs> That would be amazing. But it won't happen! Yeah. Because this is a light novel series. It's gonna be, like, one like, episode, he's gone. And it's gonna be like, oh, he's back. You know back. what's sad about oh, that? Is that I just said that, and, like, back in, like, 2008... And I was mm. big into light novels. A lot of the reason why is because light novels did have challenging stuff. Where, like... Light novels usually meant, oh, they're gonna do weirder stuff that anime and video games don't necessarily get away with. Characters yeah. might, like, die, and the like, status quo might really change, and now when I watch a light novel adaptation, I'm like, oh, it's gotta go on for, like, 900 books, so no one's gonna die, because they... Be the how are they gonna bullshit. sell figures of the characters if they're already gone, you yeah. know? So, yeah, it's, it's in one of those cases where it's like, you know that the... You know that the yeah. source material, that there's too much of it. And you would have heard about this, I feel it would have like. Been a great episode someone, twist. someone who's read the books would have brought this up at some yeah. point, or they would have said, Ho, 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 wait till you see episode eight. <laughs> Shit's gonna get real, you know, like. That would have been great. But maybe though. I'm wrong. When I think about it, it's like, I, I really wish he would just disappear. It'd be like this communist thing where it's like he was this motivational guy and now he's just gone. Right. And then it's like about it would the girl. Totally change cool. the nature It'd of be the show. awesome. And it won't do that. Well, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Maybe we're... We don't know. If the show proved us wrong, it would be great. It would be awesome. If, if we have to watch... I, I'll tell you what will piss me off. If we watch an entire episode of Shiro being really emotional about Sora being gone, and then he's not gone. Yeah. And, and then he spends another entire episode explaining <laughs> why he was gone, and how it was this brilliant ruse, uh, and, and then there's epic music yeah. playing, and then he beats them, and then they get the Beast Girl, and yeah. that would be very predictable. And that would be I would exactly really enjoy if he didn't happen. come back, because then it, it makes everything make sense, and him like building her up and like right. trying to give her confidence gradually. We'll see. If, if he's gone, it will validate the show's existence and make it, it definitely like, exponentially would, more... It definitely would be such a big turn that I wouldn't see coming... It would be way coming, more interesting. ...that it would be uh, fascinating. 
would be like, oh, he was a figment but of I'm her not imagination getting my the whole hopes time. That would have been I'm awesome. I'm not getting my hopes up that it won't be exactly what I think it's going to be. So, mm. that's it. That's all our thoughts, I think, on Nagam Nalif. <laughs>